Hello, welcome back to another software developer profile review. My name's David. I'm a software developer with 20 plus years of experience. I have also managed international recruitment teams. I want to show you what recruiters see, why they might overlook your profile, why you might not be getting the jobs you deserve, why you receive so many rejections, and I want to give you the feedback that sometimes you don't always get from recruiters. Anyway, uh, if you would like a profile review, please head over to crushing.digital and click this profile review button. There is a little bit of a queue, but I'll get to you as soon as possible. Um, okay, let's get on with it. <clears throat> so today we're looking at Kelly, and Kelly is a full stack um, Python, Django, and uh, React developer. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. First thing for me, uh, banner image, uh, junior full stack developer. I think you could do more here to, to, to indicate the tech stack that you want to be using. Um, I, I thought I'd pick up on the junior thing here. Uh, I'll say something controversial. I don't think you should put junior. Uh, this usually upsets people. I'm not saying you're trying to hide that you're junior. I'm saying it's subjective. So uh, the classic example is someone with three years of experience. Some recruiters or employers would say you're junior. Some would say you're mid-level. Some would say you're senior. And um, the, the only truth out of all this is you are a developer. Uh, the level is subjective. That's their opinion. Um, and I, I, I feel the same way about aspiring and, um, you know, internships, all that sort of stuff. I just go, yes, it's an internship, but that's no different. You're a developer um, doing the job. The, the the level of your experience, the the, uh, the level of your seniority and all that sort of stuff should come from the evidence contained within the profile. It's not coming from the word. By not saying junior, you're not saying you're senior either. People, Lots of people get really upset with this. Um, most of the time when people get upset with this, I look at their profiles and they were never junior. And they go, yeah, everyone has to put junior. And I look at their profile and go, but you never were. You never wrote junior. And they go, oh, well, I just, uh, I admitted it for some reason. I'm like, yeah, so you make everybody else do it when you don't want to do it. They're just trying to stand on your shoulders. So personally, I'm not a fan of the, the junior bit. I would just say you're a developer. I would use that space to define the stack. Profile pitch is great. Headline is great. Personally, I would drop the HTML, CSS, and Agile bits, kind of a given. Um, HTML and CSS is that giveaway that, uh, of your juniorness. Um, uh, so it can make recruiters nervous. And the idea really is to get past as many recruiters as possible and get into as many interviews as possible. So um, even though we all have HTML and CSS, you know, more senior developers will drop it in favor of using that space for other things. Uh, so I would drop that, but generally the headline's pretty good. When I get down to the about section, hi, I'm Kelly. I know that Kelly, I read your name at the top of the page. Last year, I decided to transition into a career as a full stack developer. Now, I know I'm being harsh. I always go, I don't care. Uh, what I mean is recruiters don't care. They're, they're like, where's the value? I haven't got time. Just Give me the value. I'm seeking new and exciting opportunities. I don't care. Uh, to contribute to companies and projects to improve my web development skills. So it's all very light. For me, the banner image, the headline, the about section are all about looking forward. Your experience section is going to be looking back and your, your GitHub is all the things you've done. So this page should be looking forward. I know you are looking forward, but I want to. I want this to be tech focused. So I want you to embellish this headline. Okay, are you more front end leaning, back end leaning? Uh, what are you learning right now? Uh, do you do testing? All those kind of bits. So it should be tech, 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 tech. If I click see more here, aha! So here's all the value. Here's all the bits that that uh, and a, a GitHub link. Hopefully GitHub linked up in here as well. No, so I'm, I might not have even seen this GitHub link. Um, so don't don't put things away and hide them. Um, make it really easy for me to find these things. So I think 
this needs rewriting. Um, uh, all this stuff is nice to talk about, but certainly not the most important bit. I would be making more of this field of expertise and like I said, what you're learning and all that sort of stuff and put that at the top. Um, you can even include the hi, I'm Kelly if you want, but that goes further down. Uh, get to the featured section. So we've got, oh, there is GitHub. Okay. That's the same. So then there's something here. So these look like projects that you completed. So it's going to be interesting to have a look at those. Um, I'll look at a couple of them anyway. Let's look at the activity. What do you talk about all day? Um, so in your experience, it's okay. You've got, you're currently working. Junior front-end developer currently working on a project with JavaScript thing. Uh, so, okay, we got that from, or most of that from here. Um, so great to include these bits, uh, but I know you're only in there three months, but as soon as you can, I'd be embellishing this with bullet points, three to five bullet points. What what are you working on? What did you build? What did you... Um, uh, what what's the business benefit? Um, you know, what did you learn? Um, so yeah, what did you write? What did you learn? What's the business benefit? What are the challenges? And you know, how did you overcome them? Um, I'd do the same for your student section there. You know, go deeper into these things. What what have you been building during that during that time? It just gives it a little bit more life. Um, <clears throat> if I then go and look at your activity, what are you talking about? For any women in or around York, okay, this doesn't help. I've got the certificate now, but what's next? Certificate for what? Um, okay. Oh, is that this certificate? So when you pass, so this is the classic thing when people pass any kind of course or boot camp or thing like that, they show the certificate and they think that other people see the value. They recruiters employers and myself included we don't see the value of that certificate we don't see the blood sweat and tears that went into getting that certificate there's there's a ton of value behind this certificate but it's just condensed down to hey look at this shiny thing now that was why i opened all the featured projects i want to see if that's what you're doing for everything you're just going look at these shiny bits uh, when actually they should be telling me about you know how you built these things and uh, how you went through it so uh, I can see your you are posting um, so it's not bad but I think you need to be documenting the journey more and showing how you're immersing yourself in tech and how you're learning and growing every day in your chosen field um, rather than hey look at the shiny thing I built if I then go and look at this project this is just a live link I don't know what this is. Okay. So a live link to something, uh, full stack Django. So what is this? So again, these are all nice things to see, but it's that, like I said, you show me a post and go, I built this. And I go, great. But what we should be um, allowing people to see is how you build these things. What tech you use to build these things. How do you make the decisions? What mistakes did you make? How did you overcome those challenges? There's, there's so much more. But I don't think this is a bad profile. Um, I, ju I just think there's other bits you could do to make it really more... Um, efficient in delivering your value. If I get to GitHub, profile picture is the same, which is great. There's no bio, so if I'd arrived cold here, I don't know what you do, so I have to read all these bits, and I go, uh, so you're a, you're a React developer, React and React Native. Um, so it's not clear about what you do. If I get down to the pinned repos, what do you do? JavaScript, and it says it's React, Python and the rest of HTML. I'm guessing you might have some better repos. So here, here's the thing. We've got two repos. I think we could do better on the descriptions, including more tech, but look at the amount of work you're doing. 
2,087 contributions in the last year and we don't really have much on display to show for it. Um, so when I get down to here, um, it's not bad because it's in JavaScript, but a lot of these, I'd be making it very clear that is it React, what, what libraries are you using, all that sort of stuff. Um, less focused on what the, the project does. But yeah, this is not a bad profile. Um, I can see why you got hired. Um, but for, for me, I think you could be a lot more uh, direct um, and, and making it clear how you're living and breathing this. I certainly think now that you're in that first job, hopefully you're learning a lot and I would be documenting that journey of everything you're learning and, and just showing how you're living and breathing it. You don't have to be showing I'm perfect at everything. No one's perfect at everything. We, we, um, the more powerful approach is to show that you are proactive about learning more. You're immersing yourself in it. You're living and breathing this. So yeah, a pretty good profile actually. Um, I like it. Uh, I think if more people did in line with where you are, they'd have a lot more success in their initial applications. Um, but uh, uh, again, I'd go that extra little mile now and really start to turn it on in terms of showcasing what you're doing. And then I think everything will come good. It's nice to have a good profile review. I haven't, uh, it, it don't always go as positively as this. I hope uh, the, the feedback has been valuable. Uh, I hope you can see there's a few little changes that you can make. Um, what else did I did I open your blog? Mm, I'll open that. Oh, so a broken link there. I would fix that. Certainly, because it's the only thing you've got in here. You, you should should have GitHub in here as well, and and anything else. So you could have live links to your uh, all your other projects as well. But um, I'd be turning each of those projects into a series of posts about how you built them and the tech you used. Uh, so you're clearly doing the work. I, I think you need to make more of the fact that you do this. This is really powerful stuff. We just need to let, make people understand the value of this. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if uh, anyone else wants a review, please visit the website, crushing.digital, and click the button. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.